Today I am going to be doing something a little different. Mexican is my absolute favorite food. I wrote down a list of a bunch of my favorite Mexican foods and I wrote some questions that will go along with it. So here we go. So the first thing I wrote down um, was soft taco. A character in a book that holds a soft place in my heart. The book I chose for this is called If Your Wife Only Knew. This book is based around this man, excuse me, this man, and he is married. Now, while he, while he is married, he ventures off and meets another woman and ends up having a child with her. Now, he already has a child with his wife. So, as it goes on, of course, it's a bunch of secrets and lies and everything like that. Um, she is a um, manager over a business. And she hires a new girl that's just moved into her apartment, or it could, be, it could be a house. She just moved into her house, and she needs a lot of work done. Well, her husband is a contractor. So she's like, oh, that's okay. I'll get my husband to help you with that. So he goes over there and he starts dealing with her and he ends up in a relationship with her. So now not only does he have his wife, he has one lady over here and another lady over here. Well, the reason why my heart goes out to her is because later on she finds out that he's cheating with all these women and she's trying to make her marriage work and they go through their ups and downs and things like that. And I just feel for her because I know in real life this thing happens all the time. Soft place for her. Okay, so the ne next item on the menu is a hard shell. A character that has hardened my heart, one that I did not like. Okay, so I pulled off my shelf. This book is called Escaped by Carolyn Jessup with Laura Palmer. This book is based around polygamy. The main character is 15 years old when they set up her arranged marriage the arranged marriage is to a 53-year-old man that I've never met. This book is based on a true story. And it's, this 53-year-old man has multiple wives. He's got multiple children. I couldn't, I couldn't even imagine what these girls go through um, having to marry these old men that could be their grandfathers and some of these wives these sister wives as they call them their sister wife actually in actuality is their mother so this was my hard shell oh i can't stand that man he that that was a great book too okay next thing on the menu tostada a book that was good then fell completely flat. This book right here, oh my goodness, it's called The Well by Katherine Chanter. It was really good for the first, I want to say maybe 100, 200 pages. So I'm thinking maybe the first 50 pages. Then all of a sudden, the writer writes about a memory that she has and then flashes back to that memory and then she's in reality. And then she fa she flash forwards to something that, you know. There's so many flash forwards and fat flashbacks in this book. I think I got whiplash from this book. This book to me was absolutely horrible. Next item is a burrito. A book that wraps you up, pulls you in from a few pages. This was kind of an easy choice for me. This book is called Georgia Bottoms by Mark Childress. This book is uh, about a Southern woman. In this book, she has 
multiple male friends. She has a man in her life. <laughs> We're gonna say it that way, because we keep it clean here in reading and retail. <laughs> she has a man for every day of the week, Monday through Sunday. Now, after her, um, <laughs> After her job duties are fulfilled with that client, if you will, he pays her, <laughs> her wages. <laughs> okay, so this is how she pays her rent and she pays for her food and just everything. And I'm not gonna spoil it, just in case you wanna read it. But eventually, the truth comes out. Yeah, this book right here, this definitely sucked me in, and this, this was a good, good read. So, I loved it. If you can find it, I get it. Okay, next item on the menu. Mexican rice. Um, a dish. What? Oh, <laughs> I wrote it down wrong. I'm so sorry. It's supposed to say a side dish. Mexican rice is a side dish. So, this is a book that I will always have in my collection. I will always read and reread and will always enjoy. This one was an easy pick for me. Allison Moore, this is called Shard. This book interested me because this is based on her real life. This is her. Um, she's an actual police officer. And this book goes through her story of you know, she's lying and saying she's got cancer, but really she's going somewhere else to meet drug dealers. You know, he holds her in her house, he holds her in his house, like pretty much captive. And you know, she's just telling the tale of what she went through and being on these drugs. And I tell you what, people that actually go through this in real life, I feel for you because it is a real thing when you have addiction. So, next item on the menu, a taco salad. Um, taco salads have a lot of ingredients in them. So, basically a book with many ingredients or genre. Um, this is, um, I hope I don't mess up her name, Mena Van pra Prague. This is the dress, the dress shop of dreams. This has, this does have a lot of genre in it. Um, this has fantasy in it, if you will. Um, I, well, I don't know if it would be fantasy or not. The, it could be a little bit. Um, the grandmother, she performs magic. I'm not going to do any spoiler alerts, of course, um, with the granddaughter. Um, it's got romance in it. The daughters always grew up around someone. She never looked at him as far as anyone that she would ever love. Um, in actuality, they really do love each other, so it has romance in it. It's uh, got comedy in it. It's funny, it's got its parts. So this has a little bit of everything. I hauled this at Dollar Tree not too long ago. This was such an easy read. I think I read this in oh, less than a week. For me, that's good because you all know my reading schedule is off. It is off. So for me to be able to read this in a week, I did good. All right. Um, Next item, I have a Mexican pizza. Mexican pizza has more than one layer. So, what have I read that has more than one book or has a book series? Noah needs introduction to these. These are the Dean Coots. Dean Coots, I say it funny. I say it right, but I say it funny. <laughs> Uh, the Frankenstein. I've had these books I feel like forever and I obviously know the concept is Frankenstein 
but it's been 22 years for me to actually grasp from A to Z what went on, details, I couldn't do it. I'll have to reread them. But yes, this series, Mexican Pizza, more than one layer. All right, got two more items on our menu tonight. Um, so we've had all the food. So I like mild sauce on my tacos, burritos, tostadas, everything, Mexican rice. So mild, I wrote a book that is mild or okay, nothing really special. I chose Contradictions by Tiffany King. This book, it was not bad. Like I said, it's okay. Um, it's, it's pretty basic. It's pretty basic as far as boy meets girl. At first they don't like each other. Then they learn to like each other. Then they fall in love. The typical romance novel with nothing extra in it. So. All right. The last item, um, fire sauce. I don't use fire sauce, but I thought this was cute. Um, a book that was on fire from beginning to end. And that one is C.L. Parker's A Million Dirty Secrets. This book, this was another book that I read in a short amount of time from when I opened it up I was like oh my god what happened oh my god what did she do okay so without giving away a whole lot to this book the main character in this book um, her and her family is having problems they're having money problems they're having medical bills and all this kind of thing and she's trying to figure out what to do. Well, she goes to this place that's obviously underground where they auction off, auction off women. So what they do is they take these women and they put them in these rooms. And the man that's going to win her or pay for her, he's where... He can see them, but they cannot see her. Did I say that right? He can see them, but they cannot see him. Hopefully I said that right. Y'all know what I'm saying. Y'all know I'm rambling by now. Okay. So they bring them up there and they have them under the spotlight. And, you know, half of them are barely dressed. She is auctioned off to this man. And the crazy part about it was the man was is a millionaire he's very wealthy he owns businesses he's actually good looking and she's thinking in her head what does a man like you that has more money than half the people i know need to be buying women well there's the catch and i'm not going to go too far more into it now, when I read this, this is the one thing that I did not like about this book. And I will tell you this. You know how in a movie, <laughs> you guys are going to be like, no. You know how in a movie where you get to the end and you're so excited to see what happens. And then the screen goes black and you're like, what? What happened? No. Well, this book does that. What I didn't know is there's another book to this. So, if you read this, I, matter of fact, I probably need to go ahead and look it up because I don't remember the name to the second book and order it because I'm still at that point where I want to know what happens. So, anyway. So, guys, that wraps up my Let's Talk About books. I hope you enjoyed this tag. I um, am going to list down in the, in the description box all the questions that I said, just in case you want to do this tag. Even if you don't want to do this tag, if you just want to make something else of your own, I'd be really interested in your answers. 
So thanks guys. I hope you have a great evening and I'll see you all in the next one.